Young Song Young Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make tofu kimchi. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a tofu and kimchi. <laughs> but we are going to stir fry kimchi with delicious pork and bacon. Mm, oh yeah. Make it better, make the kimchi better. <laughs> so let's get started. We are going to cut up the four slices of bacon first into bite sizes. It will give really nice smoky flavor to my tofu kimchi, the stir fry kimchi part. And I heat it on my cast iron pan already. You don't have to use a cast iron pan, you can use any type of uh, large skillet you have. I already heat it up on medium high heat and I'm going to put the bacon in it first because I want the fat from bacon. So now while the bacon is working, I'm going to cut up the main protein. Yes, main protein. <laughs> Another part of pork. Today I'm using pork butt, but you can use any type, uh, any cut of pork because we already have flavor from the bacon and the fat. So the pork can be a little more leaner side. So you can use a loin if you like to. So I'm going to just cut it into bite sizes. I have a 10 ounce of pork piece, but I'm going to use only half of it. And slice the pork into the skillet. Season the pork with a little pinch of salt and pepper. And stir one time so pork will be coated with this delicious bacon fat. <laughs> oh, mm. We're talking about pork is coated with the bacon fat. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so meanwhile, the pork is cooking. I'm going to cut up two shallots, just thinly sliced. You can use onion. I'm just using shallot because I have in my refrigerator. If you are using a regular onion, just use maybe half of medium-sized onion. That will be perfect amount. Now, shallot goes into the skillet. Cook shallot or onion if you are using about 2 to 3 minutes until they are softened. Then add 3 tablespoons of mirin. Just pour it over so it will deglaze all the brown goodness on the bottom of the pan. After mirin is all evaporated, we are going to add 2 cups of one by size chopped kimchi. You need to use a well fermented kimchi for this recipe because you want that the tangy and the sourness from the kimchi for this combined with the pork and bacon flavor. I know the kimchi and pork ratio is like half and half. Normally it's like maybe maybe a little bit of pork and a lot of kimchi, but come on, I love my pork and kimchi every single bite I me mean, when I'm eating tooth kimchi. So half and half ratio is perfect for me. So now we are going to season our tofu kimchi with a little bit more, about a tablespoon or so of Korean red pepper flakes, gochugaru for more the spiciness. If you don't like too spicy, you can just omit this, but I'm going to add it so it will have more beautiful red color and more spicy for me. And very small pinch of sugar, if your kimchi is too sour, it will balance out. And some black peppers. A little pinch of salt, about a quarter teaspoon to half teaspoon. So while the kimchi is cooking, I'm going to slice three green onions and one red chili. Yeah, for more spicy. This is totally optional. I just like the pudding for like, you know, little pretty side. <laughs> And while waiting, the kimchi is cooking, I'm going to heat up my tofu because another main ingredient of tofu kimchi. Um, I'm having this uh, Korean tofu that they separate these two, which is really convenient for me. But this is the exact same amount of 14 ounce regular block of tofu that you can find at the regular grocery stores. Just make sure you're buying either foam or extra foam tofu because otherwise it will be very hard to grab with your chopstick because this dish is meant to be eating chopsticks. Okay, just slice the tofu about half inch, half inch, yeah, about half an inch thick. Not too thin, not too thick. Just like so, and put it onto a microwave safe dish or bowl, and we are going to heat up like this. Wrap it up with the plastic wrap and microwave for like two minutes. All right, my tofu is hot. I'm just going to finish my 
uh, pork and kimchi mixture by adding green onions and the red chilies. All right, now let's serve it. Stir fry kimchi with pork on the side to sprinkle some green onion right on top. Also maybe little pieces of this red chilies, just like so. And to give it this finer Korean, Korean fragrance. Toasted sesame oil. And then some toasted sesame seeds. But I'm not gonna just add it as it is. I'm going to actually crush it between my fingers so the aroma is actually impacts more. Now time for the tofu. It's really hot, be careful. Just going to tap into a paper towel to get rid of a little excess water on the bottom. And then place on the serving plate next to the kimchi. And little pinch of sesame seeds on top of the tube as well. For tube kimchi, you wanna shake it? We've got to have a makgeolli. Soju we are all good, but makgeolli it is. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I pour you. What you do is you put the kimchi and pork on the top of the tofu as much as you want. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You know what I love about her kim her kim tofu kimchi is how spicy she makes it. Mmm. Oh. Mm. That's really good. It's like it's super spicy, and of course, I mean, it's got the, the pork and bacon in it, so it's got all the other stuff going on. And obviously, you can make less spicy for yourself. But then with the tofu, it's like perfect balance. Mm. 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 And we had this a lot at the in Korea, but there's mm. nothing like this one. No, it's good at mine. No, it's chocolate. <laughs> oh, so good for you. Mm. I'm not even paying attention to the camera anymore. Yeah, because you keep blocking me. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Right. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Am I staying here while you're close? <gasps> oh, you feel, I was like, you're going to drop it on your head. <laughs> If you guys liked my tofu kimchi recipe, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today and remember you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and, and fun. fun. I'm Sanggang Longest. And I'm Jacob Longest. And this is Asian, Asian at, at home. home and I will see you next time.